Welcome to this week's The Choice. Yeah, you know what? It's another new season, and yes, we've got it is, lots Vicky. to share with you guys. Wow, are you smart. Wow, and he's going to become a newscaster. Yes, and today's show. Go ahead. There's no teleprompter, so I can't <laughs> tell you what's on today's show. You know, I know where we're going. Where are we going? BC. There you go. Trophy West. There you go. Spotting and stalking black bears on the island. Vancouver Island, that is. He's got it going on this year, so I guess yeah, we'll I mean, let him I'm, roll. You know, I, I've been held held down, and this year is different. I'm coming back, and I'm coming back strong. All right, can we just get into the footage, though? After the journey from Illinois to Canada, the AC Media team meets up with Guide Ken and travels to the Sayward Lodge in the heart of Sayward Valley, British Columbia. Oh, man. Well? <laughs> How are you? Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. Hungered from a long day of travel, all of the guests savor the tasty home-cooked meal. After dinner, Ralph and Vicky side in their Hoyts for tomorrow, the first day of the hunt. Hey, it's Mother's Day, get my arrows. Yeah, okay. So this year on Mother's Day, we flew to British Columbia so I can go hunt the black bear. It's kind of a cool Mother's Day. It's a long Mother's Day. Yeah, happy Mother's Day. That's better. All right, so it's time to go to the range to make sure our rifles are on. We made sure last night our bows were set, so the range. What we're doing right now is we're gonna go through and uh, just make sure everything is tuned in and we're off for our first day here at Trophy West BC, baby. Spot and stalk, island, black bears. Ooh, Caldwell too. Good choice. The Browning ammo makes an excellent combination with the Browning 300 Win Mag bolt action rifles. Now sighted in for 100 yards, Ralph and Vicky are prepared to bear down. So uh, just leaving the gun range, got the Brownings dialed in, shooting, both Ralph and Vicky are shooting awesome. So now we're gonna be heading down to uh, our southern kind of point of our area. It should be about an hour and a half drive one of, or if not the largest on Vancouver Island. And, uh, we're gonna go down there and see what's moving along. So we just spotted a bear feeding on a hydro cedar road. We're gonna go up and I'll try and have a closer look at him. He's in a great position for a uh, bow stock, so we'll have a look and see what he looks like. All right, here's what here's, here's what's happening. Spotted him. Looks like a good bear. Exactly where Jeff thought he'd see him, they're out. So we are going to uh, run the, the Daytona 500. Spotted a bear feeding on a hydro cedar road. We're gonna go up and I'll try and have a closer look at him. We just spotted a big, big bear right up here. And it's no shot for archery. We don't have the greatest wind, but we're gonna give it a try. Alright. we spotted that big boar, and he's on a logging road. Yeah. 
you got to be ready to take the shot. And I'm always looking, always looking for that advantage to have a steady shot. Can I get, can I get to this? So I saw this big stump in front of me and I crawled up as quiet as possible and I got a steady rest. That bear was walking away and then so we squealed, we made a noise, he, he turned and he looked back over and all I had to do was put that crosshair on and squeeze that trigger. The rest is history. He went about maybe 30 yards piled up and what was funny is Vicky, you guys were down the road. So we just got a call from Jeff and he just said, hey, I'm gonna need some help up here. Now, it sounds like Ralph got a bear. So we're gonna head to wherever they're at right now and go give them a hand. I don't know, does that mean we gotta clap or do we have to actually take out our knives? Um, I'll have to take my knife out, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> what a morning. Yeah, crazy. Awesome. <laughs> so what happened, you guys Well, were just... we were coming around the bend and there he was, he was just in the right, green in, grass. The, right in the green grass. And, <laughs> and Jeff's like, we need to get that bear. And so, you know. You're like, I'm, okay, let's go get that bear. Yeah, and we're not, hey. hey They're guys, not waiting. Wait for us, that'd be nice. <laughs> it was cool, we were all there together. And I mean, that's that's what it's always been about. It's about being together and sharing it and having a good time. Oh, you could see, look at this. Look at this blood trail. Browning ammo, baby. What do you say? Our first morning out, you guys, you and you and Kenny said we need need to head south, right? I, I mean, we, we, we headed there and and look it, we saw a giant boar, huh? Yeah. I mean that he was first thing this morning. Hadn't been in here for more than 10, 15 minutes, and just a just a, a dream bear, really. Incredible. First few hours of the hunt. I and look, I mean, beautiful hide, but this guy hadn't been out for no, no time. Beautiful boar. And look how healthy. Holy moly. First morning out, Trophy West, and well, we let the Browning do it. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Unbelievable. What a way to kick off our 2018 spring bear season. First morning, BC, Trophy West, big boar down. Awesome. I love this place. I love this place. And the people, well, sometimes. Some of us. Yes, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> It's day two, and we are set. I have a Browning 3 one wind mag. I have my white bread works in the back seat. Depends on the situation. I have two bear tags, and you never know what's gonna happen. Just driving around, looking in cuts for bears. Um, that looks more like a board track. And some of them are fairly fresh. Some of them, aren't they? Yep. Those are fresh. That's right, oh. No. It's just a little bear. We're gonna let it go, we took some pictures. She can grow up and have Lots more little bit. All right, we got a. Jeff just looked through the scope, and it's a good bore. Across on that mountain. Well, Vicky and Kenny are all the way. They're up high, so now with the wind in their favor, they're gonna come down the road, walk down that road, and try to get a better look at that bear. I mean, here's what it is. You use these logging roads. You're in the vehicle a lot. But the reason being is you can cover so much more ground. And the guys know 
which areas are better. And they're sitting there, we're on this side of the mountains, they're on that side, and we're watching this bear come down. So now Vicky, Ken, and Chad are making their move. They're, they've got about a 400 yard walk. They're gonna come down that road, and right at the corner, that bear's there. So we got closer, we got a stock in where we're going, and Ken is like, he's gotta be right around this corner, he's gotta be right around this corner, and we turn, and as we're going, and we're trying to keep, the wind is blowing great for us, but we're just trying to be quiet, and on gravel roads, it's really hard to be quiet, but, so we're going, and all of a sudden we spotted it, and we're like, okay, so we could see just barely black, so we had to get a little closer, because we could just barely see the top of his back. And as we got closer, he turned around and he he was right there. I mean, he wasn't 13 yards from us. We didn't think he was that close. And he turned and he looked at us, got our wind, and Pachow! he was gone. Ciao. Ciao. He was gone. He was gone. I mean, it was close. It was. I mean, it was really close. And that was success. I mean, you it, got within 13 yards of a bear. Had three, no idea. Got three people. Yeah, and it was just because it was right on that curve, that wind swirled on yep. us there, and then that's all it took. So in other words, you, you, you didn't hit him where it hoists. No. No more bears are spotted for the rest of the evening. The dinner is ready back at the Sayward Lodge. All the bear action from today has the crew hungry. Not just for the nourishing meal, but for more hunting. Because of how vast and large our, uh, our area is here on the island, we have the ability to kind of stretch out and cover a lot of country to try and locate some of these bears that are, you know, obviously not showing because of the heat. And uh, we've been we've been looking and looking hard, and it, we're going to make it happen. It's just going to take some time. We got set up high on one ridge and we spotted another really good bear across the valley. So we decided we are going to go put a stock on him, rushed down the hill, made her across in time, and it was feeding in a perfect spot for an attempted bow kill. So we put a stock on with the bow, just around that far corner, that's where he's feeding. Let's slow down and take our time. When you are in bow range, every single little thing matters. Yeah, and honestly, it doesn't matter whether you're whether you're bow hunting or gun hunting or whatever. You really have to, I mean, wind is a huge thing. Oh, it doesn't matter everything. what you're doing, you always have to play the wind. Yep, and, and I mean, so many people, you, you don't understand it because when you're watching a show, right. there's variables that you, you're not there, so you don't know. You don't understand. So we've always tried to share that and keep that real. Yeah. And, and I mean, you know, good example is we spotted that big boar. Stop, stop. And this bear was a bow hunt. He was up there, he was busy, just feet. His head was down in that green lush grass along that old lane, you know what I mean? And yeah. everything was going good. So, so we're getting closer and closer and closer. And I think we got within about 30 yards or so, 31 or 32 yards. And there was a log here and we, he's feeding and I can't see all of him, you mm -hmm. know, but I, I believe I can see the vitals. I'm ready, I'm ready. And I start to come to full draw. We got within 31, 31 yards, 31 yards of him. Everything was going good. I came to full draw and I was just, just a little off of balance. I think I hit that. He heard something, definitely heard something. We got within 30 yards, 31 yards of that bear. That's why we come here. To have this multiple opportunities to see all kinds of wildlife and to hang with some pretty cool people. Trophy West, baby.
because of the time of year and the animals just being and still coming out of hibernation they're heavily focused on certain types of uh, feeding that they need that being grasses fireweeds and stuff like that so we really do concentrate on certain spots in our areas that uh, that have those food that these bears need coming out of hibernation and knowing where these spots are located in our area gives us the advantage of being more successful on our hunts and knowing where to be at the right times. I hate to admit this, but I always look forward to this time of year when Ralph and Vicky uh, come up to, to hunt with us. And, you know, we've developed a friendship way beyond a hunter and a guide. Basically, they become part of our family extended and we look forward to them coming up every year. And, you know, we like to give each other a hard time and but at the end of the day, we sure, we sure enjoy ourselves and, and having fun is one of the most important things we do out here and we do certainly do that well. Well, we actually just spotted a bear. Way over there. So, we'll pack everything up real quick and we are going to head out over there and hope that he's still on the road and that he's a good bear. And he's still on the road right now. Well, we spotted a bear early this morning. We came out here. And we lost him, we just spot him again, and we don't want to lose him again, so we're gonna hurry up. He may be just right here on the straight way. And we got down, we parked, and we're walking, and we know that we're about 80 yards to 100 yards. And you're yards checking the wind every, every Checking the wind the yeah. whole time, and checking and making sure that, you know, we've got about 80 yards, 100 yards before we get to this corner, and this is where we know we're gonna be ready to set up. And all of a sudden, there's this, this dry creek bottom, this little divot in the road. The bear's there at 30 yards, he jumps up, and we're just, like, so, you know, we got our sticks up, I put it on, I have no shot, because he goes running right into the brush. Ken starts squealing. There is something black behind that tree there, though. I don't know if it's him. So, I'm sitting there, and I'm just looking in the scope behind this tree the whole time, but he came back out about 50 yards, 60 yards up the road, and I'm scoped in here, and Ken's like, take him, take him, and I can't see him. And so now I gotta move my scope, and everything happened so fast, and I'm sure I pulled on the trigger, because it happened so so fast. And I shot and he ran and we went back up and we looked because he didn't look like he was hit when we shot. And we go look and I hit a branch. That's why we call it hunting. It happens, you know, my, right, my adrenaline does. was flying. I mean, we were all so excited. We got an opportunity and it didn't happen. So you maybe next year. You still had a chance. I and did. that's all you and can ask for on any bigger, hunt. It would have been bigger than his, though. That's the whole thing. Yeah, but guess what? And now I it ain't. go home with nothing. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. I had a blast. I mean, we all had a blast. It we was... always have fun up there. You know, I mean, I got close. I got a shot. I missed. I know. I, I'm sure I flinched. I mean, there was a lot going on. He surprised me. He went into the brush. He come back out. Not where I expected. I had a half a second to... And I admit it, I, I flinched and I got a tree instead. There was no bark trail though, I'm telling you right now. Don't ask, just saying. But congratulations, you did Thank a good you. job. Good Thank job. You. So we actually came back from British Columbia with one bear and it was actually Ralph's. We should mark this day down in our calendars because this doesn't normally happen. Hey, we wanna thank you guys for watching this week's choice. We'll see you next week. Yes, same time, same channel. Thank you for making your choice the choice right here. Yeah, over, done, now. So we need to move on to the next show because this show, you shot something and I didn't.